Hi everyone, today we're doing spaghetti uh, puttanesca. Um, I'm staying in Barcelona for a month and today at lunchtime I went down to get some lunch and everything was closed so everything I could manage was to go into a deli and grab everything that I could so that's what I came up with. I'm actually pretty happy about it so I hope you like it. Uh, we just I just went in and uh, threw some olive oil in a pan and some um, chopped garlic uh, on top of it, uh, I have about two cloves of garlic and then a little pepper, um, but you can use red um, pepper flakes and on top of that some anchovy fillets. I mean, I like anchovies, but if you don't like them, please go ahead and try them. I mean, you're not gonna taste them at all, you know, just for some flavor. Um, I threw in some, um, maybe two or three anchovy fillets and then after they melted, I uh, went ahead and um, dropped a can of uh, crushed or pureed tomatoes um, and then mixed everything um, and then after that I got some black olives I mean these are you know uh, canned olives which I don't usually buy but you know that's all they got so some black olives and some, and some capers and I just mixed everything and simmered for about 10 minutes or 15 minutes depends it just wanted to become a little thicker and then I went ahead and uh, remove the pepper because you know <laughs> you don't want you don't want to be biting on that pepper and then I tasted it for salt and it was perfect you know because there are so many salty elements in it and then I threw in some of the spaghetti I cooked and mix it around um, this easily <laughs> serves to people but you know I made it for one because I'm here home alone right now um, and I just mixed, you know, to incorporate and the the sauce to the pasta, and you know, let them get to know each other and become all, you know, cozy and um, happy. And once I thought that was done, I went ahead and plated it and gave it a try, of course. And it was so good. I mean, you know, for a um, day that I found no supermarket open or restaurant, you know, I was pretty happy. And so I hope you like it and that you make it at home.